<laughs> hey guys, Nightfall here, and over the last, I'd say, a week or two weeks now, especially after the new update that released Season 3 for Fragpunk, the game has just been getting more and more unplayable. And I'm not even talking about the rampant sniper crutch that people just depend on. I'm not talking about overpowered Lancers. I'm not talking about Zephyr still needing a buff, even though she does. I'm talking about massive frame drops and just overall performance issues. It's gotten so bad that I can't even deny anymore that the issues I was having with Splitgate pale in comparison to the issues and frame drops that I'm getting with this game. And I spent countless hours trying to diagnose what was wrong with my PC, thinking surely it wasn't the game's fault. I ran a bunch of tests. I, I literally scanned for malware. I stopped multi-streaming half the time because that seemed to solve the problem, or at least most of the problem. And then one day when I was playing the game, I opened my task manager and realized that my memory usage was at 99%. I have 32 gigabytes of RAM and I have never seen it that high before. So I'm gonna play a clip for you. And if the following looks familiar and sounds familiar, then I may just have the fix for you. Bro, why am I lagging? Bro, why am I lagging? <laughs> what did I do? What did I During that same game, I checked my task manager and my memory usage was pretty high. It wasn't as high as it normally is when it was at 99 and even 100% one time. But Fragpunk using nine and then even 10 gigabytes of RAM is absolutely insanity. So there was only one thing left to do. I shut down my PC and ran a diagnostic test on my RAM sticks because I did have one fail not too long ago. So I wanted to make sure that the other sticks that I had being the same brand model and everything weren't also failing on me. When that came back with no issues detected, I had nothing else to go on except for Ragpunk has a memory leak and it is so severe that it is causing frame drops and lag this bad. But I'm going to show you a quick and simple way of fixing this without going in and messing with all of your registry edits and all this other stuff and all these settings that you don't need to mess with. Because if it was working fine before, there's nothing that changed that should be causing it to act like this. It is strictly something broken in the coding of the game in one of the updates causing this memory leak. And sadly, there's nothing you could do to actually fix it until the developers of the game figure out what part of the code is broken and they fix it and update the game. But in the meantime, we can at least combat it. So what you're going to do is go to a website that's called memoryduct.org and you're going to go to the download section here. You're going to close out the ads because that's an ad. Don't don't get scammed. You're going to scroll down to the newest version, version 3.5.2, and you're going to download for Windows. Now, if you've ever downloaded any program before in your entire life, this part should be a breeze. You'll just download it and then open it. Once you open the program, it should look something like this. It's just gonna be a tiny little box and it'll have a bunch of numbers. And what you could do is you could click clean memory here and it would solve most of your problems, but they're gonna come back. So what you actually wanna do is go up here to the top left, click on file, and then go to the settings. Once you get into the settings page, what you're gonna wanna do is this section right here under memory management, I have both of these checked off. I have this one checked off to clean anytime the RAM usage gets above 87%. And I have this one to clean every 30 minutes. What this is going to do is it's going to clean out any kind of cached or overused RAM that's not still being put into use. And it's just going to wipe it away and start fresh. This isn't going to hurt your system. It's not going to damage anything. It's not going to crash your game mid game. It is going to work perfectly the way that it should work. Now, if you're someone who likes full control of your system, then obviously you could skip this next part. But if you're somebody who just wants to set it and forget it, especially since even after they fix the problem, this could help with future problems or other problems you may be having with another game or something like that, where maybe you just only have 16 gigabytes of RAM and you're struggling to play higher end games these days. 
you can go up here to the general tab and you can load this on system startup that way once you turn on your computer you never have to worry about opening this and making sure it's running ever again it'll just run in the background on its own the gameplay that you've been watching now for a few minutes is after i've done all of this already and it's running pretty smooth yes there are still some pretty significant frame drops but at least they're not caused by overused ram and that's just something optimization wise that they need to fix within the game remember that 10 gigabytes of usage after playing one game that i had before this is what it looks like now after playing one game as well so hopefully getting this set up gets you back into the action stops those crazy frame drops and insane lag spikes because it's not actually frame drops or lag spikes. I mean, it kind of is, but it's not really that. It's just your RAM being overworked. If this helped you out and fixed your problem, let me know down in the comments, hit that like button, make sure to subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.